A truly lamentable situation. It brings back unpleasant memories of my previous workplace. I had a co-worker like you, friendly and popular. He often told me my social graces were lacking, that I wasn't part of the group. But in the end, he fell in with the wrong group. The very cult we were investigating. It fell upon me to see him... dealt with. <laughs> I don't think so. Surely you haven't forgotten the many hours we spent together. Your speed and instincts are impressive, but predictable. I came prepared. What? There's nothing there! What did I crash into? Ah, I believe this is your first time seeing my abilities firsthand. I've manipulated my mana to create a small-scale barrier. Entry-level stuff. Wouldn't have put it on my resume at all had it not been required. Mm. How different my life would have been if I'd never applied. You've no idea, Itsurugi, how awful my previous workplace was. How awful my previous world was. The Divines were just as corrupt as the Devils. The Bureau's bigwigs were always licking their holy boots, leaving us lowly, disposable employees to pick up the slack. There was not a single moment in that world where I felt like I was truly alive. I was subsisting. Surviving. Oh, Saito... Imagine how ecstatic I was when I came here. No longer was I shackled to my job, constantly walking on eggshells to ensure my continued existence. So, you'll forgive me for not being sympathetic to your plight. You spit on life in paradise. Ingrates like you make me sick. <laughs> Do us all a favor, and die. <laughs> What's going on? I couldn't dodge! Confused? Let me enlighten you. I happen to have an SS level werewolf hunting license. Came in handy before. Should come in handy now. Uh. Sluggish as always. Get up, Itsurugi. You're sadly mistaken if you think I'm done with you. Does it hurt? Are you suffering? Do you want to break down and cry? The insolence. You are the ruin of Ametsuji. You don't get to feel sorry for yourself. You would usurp the happiness of all of Ametsuji's guests for your own personal gain. Miscreants like you deserve no mercy. Uh, no. Not so carefree now, hmm? Speak. What have you got to say for yourself? I'm used to pain. To suffering and sadness. You're right. I do want to cry. I thought we were friends. As did I, Itsurugi. That's what makes this betrayal so intolerable. <coughs> Don't forget, you betrayed us. You destroyed our friendship. And to top it all off, you threatened the very existence of Ametsuji and made an enemy of everyone within. Saito! Damn it. Damn it all! The very thought of your deeds makes me sick. Why, Itsurugi? Why did you choose to collude with them? If only you realized the error of that creature's ways and turned your back on her, instead of us. <laughs> A child's curiosity. <laughs> How frightful. They're blank slates, eagerly awaiting input, driven to consume knowledge and fill that void. Quick to pry open doors that are better left shut. And once they're opened, it's far too late. The undesirable filth of the outside world has sullied your home. What about you, Saito? Hmm. Haven't you ever thought 
about making a Metsji an even more fun place to live? Not for a moment. I've tried time and again to let a Metsji's amusements cleanse me of my cares, but to no avail. I'm weary of trying. My past will forever haunt me. You see, Itsurugi, nearly all my memories remain in my possession. Like most guests who check into a Mets G, mine were initially taken from me, but I got a fraction of them back. I was so close to walking the forsaken path. <laughs> but I chose to pursue my memories no further, for you see, in having retrieved that small piece, I realized that a Mets G is where I belong. I abandoned my quest and joined the concierge. Those memories taught me one very important lesson. Ambition is the root of sin. To reach for greater heights is to set yourself up for a great fall. <laughs> Itsurugi, I too thought we could be friends. But it's too late now. Your continued existence will bring naught but ruin to me and Ametsuji. How could you say that? The great spider has been roused. You mean... <laughs> It's awake? Yes. Now, however, is not the time. We must convince the Great Spider to return to its slumber. You woke it, and so you must pay the penance. If you love a Metsuji, then you'll give your life to save it. Oh. I think I get it now. I've been in this situation before. Beg your pardon. Before I came here, I won my village's lottery. They said the gods would choose one lucky child who'd bring the village good fortune. But it was always destined to be me. I was always going to be chosen and sent away. Wait, what are you saying? Mm hmm? Are you saying you actually remember? The wretched memories that eat away at your soul and haunt your dreams? You didn't check them in when you arrived? Yeah, I knew it. Huh? There was something off about you, kid. I just couldn't pinpoint what. Takatsumi. As reckless as ever, I see. Oh, Takatsumi! Step away from the child, Takatsumi. You need not. Ah. <sighs> I will deal with him in your place. You shouldn't have to bear this burden. <laughs> you stand down, Saito. What? Takatsumi, don't tell me you would actually. Oh, I would. Now make like a good sideshow and step aside. Itsurugi's my little brother after all. <laughs> 